I've come down the hill now from my house. There is another really large tree. They're not even snapped, they're just pulled up by the entire root. And that's what the tornadoes around here tend to do. They just tend to knock the whole tree over. That one's broken actually at the base. And then all of these ones just totally uprooted out of the ground when the storm came through. They weren't even snapped like twigs, they were just completely cut in half. Which is just, in, not cut in half, they were just pulled right out of the ground, which is just insane to me. This is a creek I played in as a kid, and I can't ever remember there being this many trees stuck in the, in the creek. The creek stopped flowing, it at one point was over the road here where I'm standing but it's just, luckily a lot of the neighborhood was just trees down, which is easy to repair. Not a lot of, there's one house I'm gonna show you in a minute um, that actually had brick pulled off the side of the house as the storm went through, as the tornado came overhead. Just lots and lots of trees just snapped like twigs and, and broken off and pulled out of the ground by their roots. You can actually see the house from here, right there, that's um, a bonus room or a, a den windows and bricks just completely pulled off the side of the house. So it's it was very scary. It was quick. It was about two minutes by the time Amanda and I got down the stairs. The storm was over. It was, but it did a lot of damage to our neighborhood. This is the second time in four years that we've been hit by a, a tornado in the same exact path. So it's definitely making us all a little on edge. You couldn't tell by looking at the sky today that it rained for the past two days because it's just gorgeous today. But uh, again, yeah, these are all the trees that were in the creek yesterday. I videoed those on my cell phone, so you'll probably see those out too. It's just time to clean up the pieces. Um, here's the, the creek is back down to its normal size. It was definite, where those trees are, where that gentleman is, was all the way up over the water at that point. Those were completely submerged yesterday. Um, it's just kind of crazy down here right now. It's a little better. Everyone really rallied yesterday and helped each other out. And that was awesome. Everyone got out their chainsaws and started taking trees down. But yeah, this is what happens when tornadoes come through and no one's expecting it. <laughs> kind of gave us all a rude awakening about 6.15 that pulled all the brick right off the side of their house. You can see where it's missing. It just ripped it right off. So if you don't think tornadoes are powerful, you are wrong. And there's more trees down over there. And there's some damage up here, not a whole lot. I'll just walk a little bit farther here in a minute. This tree yesterday, they got it cleaned up already. When we came down, that was tree was all over the yard and it actually fell luckily away from their house and completely shredded their mailbox. And it's kind of crazy. Back there you can see some more trees. Their fence is gone. They took a pretty good hit compared to what they took last time the tornado came through, but his fence is pretty much demolished back there. He'll have to rebuild the whole thing. 